The Bakshali manuscript is an ancient Indian mathematical text written on birch bark that was found in 1881 in the village of Bakshali, Mardan, near Peshawar in present-day Pakistan, historical Gandhara. It is perhaps the oldest extant manuscript in Indian mathematics. For some portions a carbon date was proposed of AD 224 to 383 while for other portions a carbon date as late as AD 885 to 993 in a recent study, but the dating has been criticized by specialists on methodological grounds. The manuscript contains the earliest known Indian use of a zero symbol. It is written in a form of literary Sanskrit influenced by contemporary dialects. The manuscript was unearthed in British India from a field in 1881 by a peasant in the village of Bakshali, which is near Mardan, in present-day Khyber Pakhtunakhwa, Pakistan. The first research on the manuscript was done by A. F. R. Hoanil. After his death, it was examined by G. R. Kai, who edited the work and published it as a book in 1927. The extant manuscript is incomplete consisting of 70 leaves of birch bark, whose intended order is not known. It is kept at the Bodleian Library at the University of Oxford, The folio are periodically loaned to museums. The manuscript is written in an earlier form of Sharada script, a script which is known for having been in use mainly from the 8th to the 12th century in the northwestern part of South Asia, such as Kashmir and neighboring regions. The language of the manuscript though intended to be Sanskrit, was significantly influenced in its phonetics and morphology by a local artist dialect or dialects, and some of the resultant linguistic peculiarities of the text are shared with Buddhist hybrid Sanskrit. The overlying dialects, though sharing affinities with Apabrasa and with Old Kashmiri, have not been identified precisely. It is probable that most of the rules and examples had been originally composed in Sanskrit while one of the sections was written entirely in a dialect. It is possible that the manuscript might be a compilation of fragments from different works composed in a number of language varieties. A colophon to one of the sections states that it was written by a Brahman identified as the son of Chachka, a king of calculators. The Brahman might have been the author of the commentary as well as the scribe of the manuscript. Near the colophon appears a broken word Dikvati, which has been interpreted as the place Mrikvata mentioned by Varhamira as being in northwestern India, the supposed place where the manuscript might have been written. The manuscript is a compilation of mathematical rules and examples and prose commentaries on these verses. Typically, a rule is given, with one or more examples, where each example is followed by a statement of the example's numerical information in tabular form, then a computation that works out the example by following the rule step by step while quoting it, and finally a verification to confirm that the solution satisfies the problem. The rules are algorithms and techniques for a variety of problems, such as systems of linear equations, quadratic equations, arithmetic progressions, and arithmetical geometric series computing square roots approximately, dealing with negative numbers, profit and loss, measurements such as of the fineness of gold, etc. Scholar Takao Hayashi has compared the text of the manuscript with several Sanskrit texts. He mentions that a passage is a verbatim quote from Mahabharata. He discusses similar passages in Ramayana, Vayupurana, Loka Prakasha of Kshemendra, etc. Some of the mathematical rules also appear in Aryabhatiya of Aryabhatta, Aryabhatiya Bhasha of Bhaskarai, Patignita and Trirashika of Sridhara, Ganitasa Sangarha of Mahavira, and Leelavati and Bisganita of Bhaskar II. An unnamed manuscript, later than Thakkar Feru, in the Patan Jain Library, a compilation of mathematical rules from various sources resembles the Bakshali manuscript contains data in an example which are strikingly similar. The Bakshali manuscript uses numerals with a place value system, using a dot as a place holder for zero. The dot symbol came to be called the Shunibindu, literally, the dot of the empty place. References to the concept are found in Subandhu's Vasvadatta, 
which has been dated between 385 and 465 by the scholar Man Singh. Prior to the 2017 carbon dating, a 9th century inscription of zero on the wall of a temple in Gwalior, Madhya Pradesh, was once thought to be the oldest Indian use of a zero symbol. In 2017, samples from three folios of the corpus were radiocarbon dated to three different centuries and empires, from AD 224 to 383, Indo-Scythian, 680 to 779, Turk Shahis, and 885 to 993, Safrid dynasty. If the dates are valid, it is not known how folios from different centuries came to be collected and buried. Prior to the proposed radiocarbon dates of the 2017 study, most scholars agreed that the physical manuscript was a copy of a more ancient text, whose date had to be estimated partly on the basis of its content. Hoanel thought that the manuscript was from the 9th century, but the original was from the 3rd or 4th century. Indian scholars assigned it an earlier date. Datta assigned it to the early centuries of the Christian era. Chandrapsappa dated it to AD 200 to 400, on the grounds that it uses mathematical terminology different from that of Aryabhatta. Hayashi noted some similarities between the manuscript and Bhaskar I's work, AD 629, and said that it was not much later than Bhaskar I. To settle the date of the Bakshali manuscript, language use and especially palaiography are other major parameters to be taken into account. In this context Haubin observed, it is difficult to derive a linear chronological difference from the observed linguistic variation, and therefore it is necessary to take quite seriously the judgment of paleographists such as Richard Salomon who observed that, what he teleologically called protorad. Please like and subscribe our channel for more interesting videos.